to you are your success. The much-hyped Fifty Shades of Grey had an impressive opening, banking 94 million domestically and 172 million internationally over the four-day holiday weekend. Anastasia. Christian. Even people who thought maybe the, the movie wouldn't do well in certain areas, advanced ticket sales were even larger in the South, in states like Alabama and Arkansas and Mississippi, than anywhere else. So that was kind of interesting that you saw where this movie was really playing well in terms of where the pre-ticket sales were. So you're a control freak? The R-rated film follows a naive college student who falls for a tormented billionaire. The movie also inspired merchandising ties. Target is carrying a line of Fifty Shades of Grey themed adult items that there was some controversy about. Uh, there's a Fifty Shades of Grey Vermont teddy bear that has little fake handcuffs, little play handcuffs that does say not intended for children on it. Uh, there is a makeup line at Sephora which has actually really nice makeup. There's wines. There's a lot of different themed items that are tied into Fifty Shades of Grey. And then, of course, there are people that are developing their own Fifty Shades of Grey themes, like hotels and places are developing their own kind of little packages that you can do for Fifty Shades of Grey that are not endorsed by Fifty Shades of Grey. Say I did stay. What would happen? And with the controversy surrounding the playroom scenes, star Dakota Johnson says the filmmakers handled it well. When you're dealing with two components, such as this love story and then also this like crazy subculture that I didn't really know anything about, but it's like so intriguing and interesting, you really want to, like, you have to be, we had to be very careful and, and um, really stay true to the fans. I don't know if I can be with him the way he needs me to. In Hollywood, Michelle Polino, Fox News.